Hello, it's Cat Fan Comics Man here with another new comic book day haul. Sorry I'm a little bit late, but those of you that have followed my community tab know why. Um, was in a wreck 30 minutes after my premiere on Tuesday morning. Um, a wrecker decided to cross right in front of me when I was going down the highway. And... I smacked right into the side of that wrecker. Barely even dented the wrecker, but totaled my car. I mean, I was going 50, 55, something like that. And just smashed right into it. And my hood looks like my trunk. Like a trunk now, so. But I'm doing, I'm doing a lot better. I was laid up on my dad's bed for three days. Uh, my hand swelling's gone down enough to where I can type again, so that's good. I was worried about that, but I'm doing okay. I'm doing better, and thank you all for those that were worried about me. Um, I'm grateful to have such good friends in this community. Thank you. But I will go ahead and get started with my comic book haul for this week, for this last Wednesday. First up, we have the facsimile to The Amazing Spider-Man, issue number 253. Oops. I got a pretty good stack. I'll also be showing the comic up in one of these corners to get a better view in case you're watching on a phone or something and it's too small. Then we have Daredevil, issue number six. This is the A cover. Whoops. Here we have Guardians of the Galaxy Annual, number one, the A cover. Rise of the Powers of X, number two, the A cover. I'm also showing off another piece of art here uh, from 23 Monge. This one was commissioned, uh, I think, for me. I'm sure I'll hear it in the comments if it wasn't, but I'm pretty sure it was. Mine's a little scrambled this week. What was that? Oh, okay. We have The Century, issue number three. And this is the A cover. Also, the link to 23 Monch will be in the description below also with his information and channel. Then I picked up Spider Boy, here's issue number four, the A cover. Then I picked up Spider Boy, issue number four. This is the Stormbreakers variant. I thought it was a cool looking cover. Let's see, then we got Ultimate Spider-Man, issue number two. X-Force, issue number 49. And that's the A cover. <clears throat> and I had missed the first print, but here is Cobra Commander, issue number one, 
cover A, the second print. And then here is Cobra Commander, issue number one, second print, cover B. And then continuing the series, here's Cobra Commander, issue number two. And this is the um, Ortiz variant. And I had mentioned it to Trev, but of course I'm going to pick it up. Nightwing. <laughs> Issue number 111. And this is the Rubble sweater, sweater Weather variant. Had to pick this cover up. It was a must have for my collection. Then we have Edge of Spider Verse, issue number one. This is the A cover. I hope this cover shows up well because this is my cover of the week here. It's also Edge of Spider-Verse number one, but this is the Azrar foil variant cover. It's really cool looking. I hope that shows up. But it'll be up here in the corner without the foily so you can see what it looks like, but that was my cover of the week of, of the comics, so. I hope you all enjoyed my comics. I hope that I'm reading some of the same ones you are. Um, if I'm missing out on anything, please let me know in the comments below. Please like, subscribe, and of course leave a comment. I read every comment, and I respond to every comment. And... Other than that, I'll be back with my Daily Comic and Collectible Monday. As long as everything keeps going as planned. Woo! It has been a rough ride about the last six months. But anyway, I want to thank y'all for watching. Once again, this is Cat Fan Comics Man. And I'll catch y'all on the flip. Over and out.